But I also asked men, what do you mean by respect? Can you help us understand your definition of respect? And I had men telling me a couple of things. Number one on the list, don't compare me with other men. Now, of course, women don't understand what I'm saying. Let me explain to you very simple. After this meeting tonight, when you go home, don't talk about Dr. Kenyajui. Talk about what I'm teaching. <laughs> you know the mistake you make? You compare your husband with other guys without knowing. By just talking so much about a character you met somewhere. It could be Uhuru Kenyatta. It could be any other celeb. Ignore those things and discuss the content of this meeting. It's safer for you than talking too much about your speaker tonight. Don't take me to your home. Leave me here. <laughs> Men don't want to be compared with anyone. Now, the moment you say, Mr. John, Mr. Paul is driving a VX V8, he feels compared. Oh, don't you know so-and-so has just bought a home in Kilereshwa? He feels, why can't you go and live with him in Kilereshwa? <laughs> he just doesn't want to be compared. Don't ever shout at your husband. According to him, you don't respect him. Speak calmly. If you ever feel like calling him names of all domestic animals, take a walk, go breathe some oxygen, come back home. If you feel you have not relaxed, write down everything you wanted to tell him on your laptop, maybe on a Word document. You'll be venting in the process. Once the steams come down, delete that document. Scripture says we should not keep a record of wrongs. Don't ever correct him in public. What is public? In the presence of anyone. Don't play smart and show your husband dumb. You'd rather both of you look dumb. But don't correct him in public. In your privacy, what does that mean? When you're two of you, go and tell him, I think we should have done it this way. You should have said it this way, in my opinion. And don't ever start any sentence at home with the word you. You is accusing. Always start with the word I think, I feel. Every time you start a statement with the word I, you already neutralize any anger. Now, consult, inform him. Now, the, I did not write this bullet for each one of you. This bullet is specifically for women from Muranga. <laughs> Those who buy secret plots. They have an out scheme just in case it doesn't work. Then I have some plot somewhere in uh, Kitengela and uh, Siokemau. And they know themselves. And their laughter can already betray them. The moment your husband discovers you have one or two secret plots or accounts, then definitely you have sent a strong signal. You have no faith in posterity together. And he feels dishonored. He feels disrespected. Truth be told, a number of you are in that cage. And I'm going to flash it before I finish because we've got to give you a solution. I know for a fact there are many people here in secret accounts. We've got to deal with it tonight. That's the reason you came here. Because the knowledge of the truth sets free. Don't discuss your marriage issues. 